What's up guys? We are here in Las Casas. We are on our way to Casa Lubao guys. The bullet train. So the beach was on this side here. So we just got here. This is the 930 tour, guys. We can see they already started in here. Uh, we can see there are a lot of people also. Man, I don't know why we got late. I think because it was traffic on the way. So let's see what's going on here, guys. na bahay. 40 to 60 percent po ng mga parte ng mga bahay, uh, original po sila. At ito po yung mga parte ng kahoy na makikita po natin sa ikalawa, tikatlong palapag po ng mga bahay. So para po mailipat po nila dito sa resort yung bahay, so una po pinag-aaralan po nila muna mabuti yung mga bahay. So nilalagyan po nila ito ng mga markings at palatandaan. At pagkatapos maingat po nila itong babak na si piece by piece, plank by plank, column by column. At pagdating po dito sa resort, parang puzzle po nila itong bubuhi. So yung mga bahay po ay pinangalan depende sa lugar kung saan sila nagmula dito po sa iba't ibang probinsya sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, English. So, English na po tayo sa English. And for our first house, okay? So, welcome po sa aming Casa Lubao from Lubao, Pampanga. And this house is one of the youngest houses that was transferred here in the resort since it was built in the year 1920 in the ownership of Valentina Rastia and Francisca Salgado. So here we are now guys, we're going inside the first house, uh, you gotta remove your slippers, your shoes, you know, <laughs> my slipper is unique, you know, so I'll find it later, <laughs> and you gotta go barefoot, my friend, look at this, it's like we're going to swim here, yeah, this is the house of who? Yeah. I did not catch up with the. So inside this house, well, we can see some beautiful wooden carvings Whoa. between the walls and the ceiling. So these are, these are called. Let's just wait for the others. Inside this house, well, we can see some beautiful wooden carvings between the walls and the ceiling. So these are, these are called calados. So uh, these calados are meant to be open for the circulation of the air inside of the house. So now uh, let's go to the living area. Calados. So uh, this calados hour meant to be open for the circulation of the air inside of the house. So now uh, let's go to the living area. Wow, man. I need to ask her, this is the house of who? Excuse me, this is the house of who? Uh, I miss his wife, Francisca Salgado. So the couple is one of the few people who supported the study of our former president, Mr. Nesdado Makapagano. Alright. Okay, so what can you notice uh, to these sofas here in the living room? Yes, they are very low or what we call knee high. Oh, yeah. Because before, the Filipinos were very small. Uh, so this uh, sofas were designed according to their height before. Okay, so uh, one, of, one example of this is our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal. Uh, so the, Dr. Jose Rizal's height was just 4'11". Oh, really? Yes. 4'11". So they are very small before. <laughs> so this is where they wash their dishes before. This is where they put their plastic glasses or what we call sardine to make it dry. 
Okay, these small windows here are called ventanilla. The entrance of, for, of the cold air inside the house and sometimes... So that's the washing area. This is where they wash the dishes. This is the cleaning area. So before we have air conditioned. And uh, uh, before they have air continuous. <laughs> it's because continuous <laughs> lang yung flow na ang It's free air conditioning. <laughs> This is here the air conditioning guys. They don't have air conditioning before. And here, this is the washing area she said. So we can see. guys now this is the bed it does have mattress you for see bed. <laughs> it does have net for mosquito you know uh, yeah I think this kind of bed that they put the net for the mosquitoes wow so they preserved the entire thing here we can see oh man <laughs> they have a toilet before they even have a heater bro <laughs> They have a heater, bro. They have a mirror here, bro. <laughs> Man. Oh my god. They're living the life. Now I need to find my sleeper. We can proceed now to our next house. Yeah, so we're going to proceed to another house. We can see here they got mattress. That's not fair to other people. They sleep without mattress, guys. So now we're moving to the other house. We're moving to the other house now. We're gonna check it out. They even got like a veranda here, you know. <laughs> you know, there's a veranda in here, bro. <laughs> oh no, this is the real challenge to find your sleeper. You gotta find your sleepers and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, you have to remember or otherwise <laughs> you lose it. Sometimes you come down, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta end up walking barefoot. <laughs> There's also Tahoe in the old times. <laughs> in Dr. Jose Rizal. So the next destination is the Casa Vignan. Casa Vignan? Yes, the What's ancestral house of the mother of a Dr. Hassan. Oh, uh, I like the uniform. <laughs> <laughs> looks nice. Do you have one for me? <laughs> Man, this is so beautiful here. Right? Diba? Maganda dito. Okay. Thank yeah. you, sir. Wow. <laughs> How about me? Oh, you. Maganda also. Lahat. <laughs> okay, so this way po tayo? This way po tayo. This way po tayo. <laughs> wow, man. I can hear a lot of birds in here. That's a bambara. <laughs> in the water. River cruise yeah, river cruise. Balsa in Tagalog. Balsa? Yes. Balsa. Balsa. They don't have Salva Vida? Uh, <laughs> before they have. They have Salva Vida before, in the old times. Also, a lot of restaurants in here, right? Yes. Yeah. We have our Italian restaurant there, and we call it La Bella Teodora. Oh. Or, uh, meaning in English, My Beautiful Teodora. Oh. Because the name of the mother of Dr. Jose Rizal is, uh, is, is Theodora. Theodora? Theodora. Oh, I thought Theodora, like the one for uh, Kili Kili. <laughs> 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 that's Theodora. Yeah, that's Theodora. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. Yesterday we had the uh, lunch here. This Italian restaurant, but oh, main Filipino restaurant also, right? Yes, uh, we have the Casa Onisan. Yeah. Uh, Cucina ni Nana y Maria. Oh. Dito lam po tayo, dito lam. So we're gonna wait. What's going on? This is the second house we're visiting for today. I'm not sure how many houses we're gonna visit. I think a lot. 
this looks like a theater. Here we are now, guys. <laughs> Oh, there. It's on the other side. So this is the first part of the house and that one uh, that is the second part of the house. So the first part of the house was built in the year 1700s in the ownership of Don Gregorio Alonso. So this is we're going to remove our footwears. And walk to lag in. Yes. <laughs> we're going to remove our footwear. So we're going to put it on the floor. So we keep the long thing as you draw up for us. Yes. This is Tondo guys, Las Casas branch. This is how Tondo looks like before, not like the one in Manila right now. This is where people chill in the 70s and the 80s, my friend. This is the window. <laughs> man, this is so beautiful. Look at this, man. Look at this, bro. <laughs> wow, we can see. Oh my God, we have this at home. It means my dad is the original owner of the house. <laughs> 